Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Henry Smith. He's with the University of Kentucky. He's a graduate student there in plant pathology with Dr. Nicole Gaucher. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I'm glad you're here today because a lot of times we get calls from gardeners and they're having some complications and it goes back to sanitation a lot of times. And a lot of times we want to do something to fix it, right? right. But if we, if we follow proper sanitation throughout the season, it could really help us Right. If you follow proper sanitation, you can potentially avoid a large amount of disease issues um, because one of the big pillars of plant disease management is exclusion. So preventing the problem from even beginning and sanitation is very key for that. So when we think about uh, fungal pathogens, many of them overwinter and survive in debris that's left over from prior crops. So whenever you are done with your, uh, your crop through the growing season, Make sure you really collect all the leaves that have fallen, all the plants that still remain, to really prevent fungi from overwintering, potentially surviving until the next cycle next year and causing some nasty diseases. If you have a disease problem, the last thing you want to do is put that disease plant on your compost pile. Because then once you put your compost pile, put your compost out next year, you're just inoculating that soil with pathogens. So the best thing you can do is completely remove it, put it in the garbage can, burn it, to not use it again. And a lot of times at the end of the gardening season, we're so over it, we're mm -hmm. tired, mm -hmm. right? But it is important to go ahead and collect all of that. Yes. If you use tomato cages, anything like that, mm -hmm. good sanitation of the pieces that were yes. in the garden. That's right, all, all the pieces in the garden and the equipment you use. So if you're using pruners, you're using a rototiller, make sure you disinfect those with either a 10% bleach solution or something to really disinfect all of those uh, pieces. Now, the equipment that we're utilizing throughout the season, though, is it important to disinfect after each use and not just at the end of the season? If you're noticing a disease problem popping up and you use pruners to prune that plant, you have to disinfect those or else you're going to be spreading it to every other plant that you are pruning. So, yes, I would disinfect as you go throughout the season. And then going back to that, if you see a diseased plant starting to kind of show the signs in your garden, the best option for you to do is to go ahead and remove that plant. Just take the loss and prevent the fungal pathogen that is causing that disease from really spreading more throughout your garden. And if it looks like it's a wilt disease, which your county extension agent can help you with diagnosing that, you're going to have to take that plant up. And the best practice is to take the adjacent plants next to it because oftentimes those wilt pathogens are throughout the soil and they're spreading around. If you have something going on, make sure you find out what it is. Contact yes. your extension agent through photos, might even need a plant sample mm -hmm. for that, and then following those management practices to help reduce or decrease the spread. Right, right. And then again, going back to the exclusion, just you wanna start with the right materials. Clean seed, uh, clean potting mix, clean transplants. Whenever you buy your transplants, make sure they look like they're very, very happy. So you wanna prevent that from even getting in in the beginning. And then also throughout the growing season, you want to remove your weeds as well. I'm counting that as sanitation. Because a lot of fungal pathogens, they can hang out uh, in these weeds and then they can sporulate and start causing disease on your uh, tomato plants, whatever you're growing. So removing those weeds is another good sanitation practice as well. Yeah, even weeds around the garden yes. a lot of times, they're unsightly and they can also That's become right. a problem. That's right. That's right. <laughs> And so doing all those things throughout the growing season can certainly help. At the end of the season though, let's say that we might want to maybe start a fall garden. Mm -hmm. um, would we need to completely remove everything before we put new plants in? If, if you have noticed, if you had disease issues um, throughout the growing season, yes, you would have to remove everything. Um, and also determining what disease you had during that growing season you might not have to completely remove or you know till everything down because a lot of diseases are host specific so you can potentially leave some of that organic matter in your field but that's a diagnosis type question that your county agent can help you with okay so find out the situation but top key goal here is to make sure and keep sanitation on top of mind because a lot of times we get busy we're picking and we forget about those type right. of things but it's super important for this year as well as the next yes. and if you have questions make sure to contact your local extension office thanks for watching and have a great day